So here we need to graph functions f of x, where which is equal to 3 to the power of x, and function g of x, which is equal to 3 to the power of negative x. Uh, and we also need to find asymptotes of both functions. Well, uh, to graph the functions, let's construct the table of values. Uh, so basically... Mm, 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 let's... Uh, here we will have the value of x, here the value, the value of f of x, and here g of x. So for instance, if uh, x is equal 0, then uh, 3 to the power of x is equal to 1, and 3 to the power of negative x is also equal to 1. If x is equal 1, then uh, 3 to the power of 1 is 3, and 3 to the power of a negative 1 is a 1 third. If x is equal to f of x is equal 3 to 3 squared, which is 9, uh, g of x is equal to 3 to the power of negative 2, which is 1 ninth. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's uh, draw these points on x and y plane. So, uh, for, fun for function f, we have point 0, 1, which is right here. We also have for point 1, 3, which is uh, right here. We also have point 2, 9, which is, uh, it, it will be a bit higher, it will be right here. Uh, for function, now we can connect these points. It might be a bit complicated, but we need to try to we need to try to connect it smoothly. Well, now we do the same thing for fun uh, for function g. So for function g, we have point zero one. So functions g and f intersect in this point. We also have point one and one third. So x is equal to 1, then y is equal to 1 third. So something like this. Uh, we also have a point uh, 2 and 1 ninth. So when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1 ninth. So it's very close to 0. Uh, and uh, we can see, uh, we can see this kind of rule that is going to happen uh, for function g further, the bigger x we choose, the smaller will be the value of y. So it will kind of look like this. It will kind of look like this. Like this. Uh, well, now we need to, um, to look at negative, uh, uh, negative values of x. So for instance, if x is equal to negative 1, if x is equal to negative 1, then f of x is equal to 1 third, while g of x is equal to 3. So we get the opposite. So uh, same thing for negative 2. f of x will be 1 ninth, while g of x will be 9. Um, let's, let's depict these points. So uh, for g of x, we have negative 1 and 3 negative 1 and 3, so it's a point here. Mm, we also have negative 2 and 9, so this point is right here. And now we can draw... We can draw our g of x function. Now let's do the same thing for f of x. So for f of x, uh, as previously for g of x, we we understand that for smaller values of x, uh, f of x will become smaller, so it will um, it will approach zero, kind of. It will look like this. Mm -hmm. Like this. Dun, 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 dun. Here, so this is f of x. Well, we have uh, graphed both of our functions. Now from this graph, we see that both functions 
have the same uh, asymptote, which is uh, y equals zero, because all of them approach x axis. So both of them approach, uh, uh, both functions approach zero value, but none of them actually reaches it. So um, the asymptote, the only asymptote is y equals zero for both f of x and g of x.